In this episode of Plant Life with Ashley Anita. Today is a plant shopping video because Cactus Club just told me they restocked. I've just arrived and look, ooh, look at this. Now I'm heading over to Charlotte Collective to Queen City Crate. Now I'm at Grow Charlotte. I cannot wait to check out their new location. Look what I just found. Can I just say, I did not anticipate today going like this. I did not think I was gonna go around Charlotte and buy up all the plants in all the plant shops. I have a massive, massive haul today. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is a plant shopping video. I'm really excited because Cactus Club just told me they restocked. The last time they restocked, I walked away with a huge haul, all rare and uncommon plants. And uh, I'm anticipating probably the same thing happening today if I know Cactus Club and I know me. So I'm really excited to see what they have. If you are new to this channel, welcome. This is a plant community for crazy plant people. So if you like that kind of thing, you may want to subscribe. That way you never miss a video. I do post a couple times a week and if you like my channel you will love my Instagram because I do post on there every single day always plant stuff and after I visit Cactus Club I'm going to go to Charlotte Collective so that I can check out some concrete planters from Queen City Crate or Crete um, because I've been really really wanting to buy some of her pots they are amazing after that I'm hitting up Grow Char yes we have an action-packed day after that we're going to Grow Charlotte um, because they have a brand new location awesome plant shop I cannot wait to check that out so so sit back, relax, and let's do some plant shopping. All right, guys, so I've just arrived and look, ooh, this is what I have come for today. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick one of these babies out for myself for sure, because look how gorgeous and massive these leaves are. <gasps> Amazing. All right guys, I wanted to show how massive these leaves are. Look at this. I've been given permission to touch. Look at this, absolutely amazing. This one has new growth coming out, but they're all huge. And uh, I might've picked one out for myself. I can't wait to show the rest of the stuff as well. So this is a beautiful philodendron Mexicanum, the size of those leaves. I can't even get them completely in the frame because they're so big. Like, look how big those are. And this one is 255. And yeah, so they just got back, they just restocked, and I'm so glad I made it. Um, they get so incredibly busy when they restock that I had to come early before they even open today um, because it just, there's usually a line out the door. These are Anthurium Faustino's Giant 432. I really like these. I hear my shoe squeaking. <laughs> um, and just the leaves are so, textured and ruffly. I love them. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. They have little pine, little Norfolk pine for 14. They have these beautiful Gloriosum here. I mean, you cannot find these plants anywhere else in Charlotte. Just humongous. Oh, look at these philodendrons. These are nice. These um, chordatum on these totem on the planks of wood here, and they are 25. And we have this beautiful, beautiful heart leaf fern for $9. And this awesome plant, this philodendron gigantium for 200. Such a stunner. I can't believe this one's still here. I think you'd need a big house to put this one in, right? So, awesome. I have to show you guys these watermelon peperomias for 28. Look how huge these leaves are. They have a bunch of absolutely gorgeous calathea orbifolias. Um, they're very healthy. They're a nice size. They are 32. Here are some angel wing begonias, uh, my special angel. They're big and they're 48 you know put these in the north carolina weather and you know let them grow this summer and those will become massive cane begonias do really well here then we have these gorgeous adansonii as well oh look at that pretty euphorbia over there for 52. this euphorbia is amazing looking gosh look how serious those spikes are 
It is not playing around. Oh, interesting facts on Euphorbia, they're called thorns. And they do, you can tell they look like thorns. Um, and they're 115. Gorgeous, gorgeous begonia. We have some smaller size plants over here. Um, Monstera deliciosa for 14, a beautiful philodendron, red one here for 12. Got some um, Raphidophora tetrasperma. I'm not sure what this guy is. Philodendron xanadu maybe or something? I don't know what this, which one is this ivy? Deja vu, okay, nice. Then we have some red emerald here for 18. Some gorgeous lemon lime marantis here for $12, $12.50. Then we have some um, different calatheas, really beautiful. Ooh, look, we have some little strawberry begonias. Ooh, what is this? Is this a... It has the fuzzy stems. I love it. It's so pretty. I like the shape of the leaves. That's awesome. Here's another Rex begonia. And I love the stems, how like fuzzy they are on these Rex begonias. They're awesome. Some really pretty peperomia here for 12. Beautiful Sansevieria. Look at these gorgeous Skindapsis. Stunning. Here's another gorgeous Mexicanum for $2.25. Wow, like the leaves are so, so big. <laughs> and I love the lobes on them, like these ears that they get, it's so cute. And the long leaves. Look at that new growth coming out. Oh, and then look at this massive white stripe. Is this a white stripe? Silver stripe. Yeah. Silver stripe? Beautiful. So this is a really healthy, beautiful, wide form Adansonii here for 58. I love how it's uh, already set up and trailing and climbing. It's a happy Adansonii. So I wanna show you guys this tray of what we're calling mutated plants <laughs> that uh, they found through all their like, you know, plant shopping adventures at the, you know, wholesale spots. Um, and I really wanted to show you that way, if you're interested in any of these, you can come out and get one. Um, now this, these are Birkins, but they have some interesting variegation and mutations going on. Look at that one, absolutely beautiful. So there's some really nice Birkins. Um, they found this Monstera, stunning. You said this one is sold already? Yes. And then they do ha have, um, some variegated aluminum plants, which I have one of these, and it grows like crazy. I'm propagating it right now. I highly recommend these. They are awesome. It made me happy when I saw you had these because I never see them, um, and they're awesome. And then this one is an imperial red that has some interesting stuff happening as well. Beautiful. We have Peperomia frost for 18.50. Then we have Philodendron micans um, for 54. These nice sized ones. They have a bunch of Philodendron goldii here for 86. I love these these goldii. Like I've seen some pictures of them when they their leaves get really big, and it's kind of hard to believe that they. They're so brown. Yeah, they get huge, and they just keep that keep. Five dollars off this all weekend. Okay, five dollars off these all weekend. Beautiful Magnificum. We have this gorgeous Marble Queen Pothos. Oh, and I'm really, really excited about this. So they are starting to, um, this section is set up for the more uncommon or rare cacti. And there are some really, really cool ones. There's Euphorbia Polygona or Snowflake over there. Um, hello, hello Cactus Azurius. Look at this one, it's so awesome. Uh, again, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce these, but I did wanna show you all. Look at that, ooh, so many cool ones. $8, really nice. 
Look at that fat guy back there. <laughs> So if you are looking for cacti, this would be a good spot to come um, to get some you know, interesting and unusual ones. So cute. My favorite, paper spine cactus, one of my faves. I love the way they have it set up in the pots with the little rocks. Gorgeous. Here we have some cute little fried eggs for 14. Mine, um, didn't make it through the move. It got spider mites and I didn't really have much time to mess with it. So I'll definitely get one of these again one day. Here we have, looks like a bambino maybe. Yep, for 14. They have some uh, Hindu rope for 15. Mm. These pink lady peperomias, yes. Couple of these left. Then we have the um, Pylea peperomioides. So cute, some aluminum plants, polka dot plants, little terrarium plants down there. Dark Angel Begonia for 30. Looks like a jungle boogie. Is that jungle boogie? Yes, for 14. Some little Adansonii, some more philodendron, some more cute Birkins, and Raphidophora Hayi. Hayi. Look how cute and healthy those are. I love them. We have some Skindapsis here. Silver satin. Philodendron by Penifolium for 25. Nice. They have some variegated Dishidia Million Hearts for 30. And some more Mykins for 25. This Anthurium Insignia for 120 is really cool. I, think, I don't know if you guys can see the shape of the leaves. Oh, I really like it. Philodendron Bob C. Completely shocked till you see this one still here. It is 115. So, so beautiful. I love, love, love the shape of those leaves. They also have some Epipremnum Panatum Dragon Tail here for 54. You just don't ever see some of these plants around. Well, I know I've never seen this one out before, so it's so exciting, the stuff you guys have here. I love it. A beautiful variegated Azizi here for 75. They have some Dubia for 150. And these guys grow like crazy, look at that. We have some what I call totem cactus, but um, they're 75. Really, really awesome. A different type of Raphidophora. This one's Cryptantha for 58. And then the beautiful Forgetty Eye. Cactus Club has a lot of plants that they offer through their website at itsthecactusclub.com. A lot of you guys ask me what places ship and Cactus Club is one of them and they are exceptional at it, I have to say. Um, their website is itsthecactusclub.com and they are offering a promo code for you guys on online orders over $25 and it is for 10% off. The code is Ashley10.
All right, Cactus Club was incredible, did not disappoint. Walked away with a big haul, wishless plants. I cannot wait to show you the stuff I got. I mean, it's amazing. There's so many plants I, I, uh, I wanted to get, but I picked out the couple that I have been wanting for a long time. The plant haul, like I said, is at the end of this video, but now I'm heading over to Charlotte Collective to Queen City Crate. I'd love to get a Carla planter. I'd love to get one of her skull planters. She sometimes has them with like crystals in them. I'm just really curious to see what kind of cool stuff she has. And that Charlotte Collective store is cute. Like they have all sorts of neat stuff. So um, with that said, let's go over there and check it out. So I just walked into the Charlotte Collective store and they have all sorts of cute stuff. This is where Cactus Club used to be. Over here is Queen City Crete's uh, pottery, which I'm excited to check that out. This is so cute. Little plates. Here we have some pots. I just love, love, love her stuff. It's all made out of concrete. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this skull one. How much is this? Look at that. Okay, that's a maybe. I wonder how much this is. It doesn't have a price on there but I'm gonna pull this one aside because that is just amazing. <gasps> I'm so obsessed. All right, and these are 25. Look how cool these are. I love the way they look. I like the different like blending colors. That tribal one's cute. Look at these face ones. Let's see how much these are. 24. Um, these are called Carla planters with the face. And this is one of the ones I've come for today. I kind of like this one. This one's cool too. Oh, I love that one. My gosh. Maybe I'll put it for a vote on Instagram, which one I should get. I have these really cool incense holders. I love these with the little face on them. How are y'all doing? How are you doing well? How are you? They have these cute little pots, absolutely adorable. And then they have the smaller size ones of these skulls. Like, isn't that nice? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just feeling the skulls. These little shells are super cute as well. Adorable. I just love her stuff. And that is all out of concrete is amazing. They have all sorts of cute little plants here too, like little cacti, they even have some paper spine cactus. Look at this wild fella. Look at that little wild fella. He's so cute. And they're four dollars. Wow, that cactus is interesting. Oh, these are cool.
my goodness, that was amazing. I didn't realize there is a new plant shop in there called Tay Flower, as you saw. And I spoke with the owner of Tay Flower and she says that they have a huge shipment of plants coming in. So I just found a new plant shop. I am so excited about that. I also got some amazing, amazing planters. So yes, cannot wait to show you. You voted on Instagram which planter I should get. So I hope you like the one I chose. Now I am at Grow Charlotte. I cannot wait to check out their new location. This area is awesome. So let's go and check it out and see what Grow Charlotte has at this location. Look at that little nugget. This is Pocket. She's literally the cutest dog ever. Hi, honey. She ran over and gave me the biggest hello I'd ever had in my life when I first got here. And she's so cute in her little sweater. <gasps> Good girl, Pocket. Look what I just found here. They have these philodendron potatoes. This potato is $68 for this large size one. And then they have the little one here for $48. And they have this, they have a Syngonium Albo uh, for 40. So, oh, that's so tempting guys. I'm spending so much money today. But when am I ever gonna see these again? Look, looks like a cute little Rapidophora. They have the um, Shangri-La here for 80, a couple of those. Had no idea they had this amazing stuff in stock today. They have this beautiful philodendron revolution for 160. Look at this plant, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to freak out. Alocasia regal shield for 52. Absolutely massive, stunning, stunning. And then this one is Alocasia Porto. Petora for 52. And I mean, look how huge these leaves are. Massive. So they have a string of spades for 16. Isn't that so cool? Look at them. And then these are string of watermelons. Really great. String of watermelons for 12. The string of spades are 16. <gasps> Guys, I had no idea the stuff they have here. I'm so glad I came today. Um, they have whale fin sansevierias. They have a variegated whale fin sansevieria for 110. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And then this one is uh, 42. Amazing, beautiful sansevieria. Gorgeous little pothos here. Look at the size of these air plants. Unbelievable. Cutest little orchid. Oh my gosh, look at that little orchid for 14. They have string of turtle, oh wait, no, these are string of hearts. So cute, but they do have string of turtle. This string of turtles is 54, a nice big size pot. Look at this rickrack orchid cactus for 40. Awesome. They have a couple jewel orchid here for 24. And I actually really like my shadow's in the way, but I like this one with like the one stripe down the center. Um, and this one is 34. This one is called a discolor black. And this one is called a Lucidia discolor jewel orchid. It's only 24, that's tempting. Again, some more beautiful Sansevieria. Gorgeous, we have some um, Blue star fern here, some fiddle leaf. This is so cute back here, I love this. Like this little monstera chain, so cute. They have some goldie eye here. Um, look at the size of this leaf. That is incredible and they are 120, or that one is 120 and then another gorgeous orchid. Here we have an Adam sunny eye. Burl marks here for 42, I think. Really nice. 
they have the funniest little cards here. I like this one that says, you're nice, I like that, thanks. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, the plant daddy one. Lots of cute sansevieria up there. It looks like a few of them are flowering. Oh my goodness. We have some ZZs, always a favorite. Some palm, looks like there's a ZZ Zenzi here. So cute for 28, a couple of those. And then we have other Calatheas. Looks like they're all around 14-ish. Calathea, a red Maranta. They do have a white fusion here. She didn't see those very often. Gorgeous Orbifolia. They have, um, this grow light is neat. I like that, it connects with an app. Hmm. Oh, look at this watering can. You guys know I love watering cans. And it's actually so helpful when it has the thin spout like that. Here we have a Fazia, absolutely beautiful. Cute little China doll plant down here. I like the way the leaves look, they're so delicate. Pothos. Look, we have some Hoya Carii. These are a nice size for 32. That's a good deal. Ficus bonsai, another Fatsia. They have some really cute um, string of hearts. How much are these little ones? Eight dollars. Cute. Oh, and these Hoya Carii are so perfect for um, Valentine's Day. Guys, they have frizzle sizzle here. You don't see it very often, and they're 20. You guys need to come out to this spot, for real. They have so much good stuff. Look, cute little cactus. Ponytail palm, Sansevieria. All right, they have some really nice alocasia poly. They have black velvet, which I know is a favorite for everybody. Gorgeous Maharani here. The size of that leaf is just next level. Now you can't really see the sun's kind of shining. Um, this is a lone rider for 32. They have a fry deck, which that's one of the alocasia that I definitely want to reintroduce to my collection. It's for 30. Oh, that's tempting. If I hadn't, <laughs> if I wasn't having such a massive haul already. Oh my gosh, maybe, I don't know. They have Alocasia Tiny Dancer here for 24. Looks like some Bambino. Oh, there's Anthurium Superbum over there. Wow, gosh, look at this Bro Marks. So, so beautiful. Got some Monsteras, Bird's Nest Fern. They have some Hoya Waedia here for 18. I was just commenting, look how long that leaf is. <laughs> so pretty. I just asked what this plant is because I'd never seen it before. Isn't it neat? It's called a Euphorbia Green Giant and it is 74. It's so huge. I love it. They have some macrophylla hanging out over here in the window. Fast growers these are. Really nice. And then coming over to this plant wall, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Hoyas first because that is exciting to me. Not many places in the Charlotte have a lot of Hoyas and this place has some good stuff. So they have the Hoya Kentianas here in the, what looks like a six inch pot maybe for 36. And then Hoya Carnosa for 28. We have some little Hoya Carnosas. This is Hoya Gracilis for 46. It's a different one that you don't see all the time. Here we have, um, it says Exotica, but also known as Crimson Princess for 16. Crimson Queen for 18. Ooh, what kind is this? 
This is Hoya Pachi Paki Clayta, thank you, for 64. Oh wow, that's exciting. Got some more Macrophylla for 28. Then we have some Rattusa here for 34. Lots of good stuff. I, I love their planters. Look how cute those are. Got some Birkins, some bigger Birkins for 30. Some Raphidophoras. Oh, this one's really big, look. It's nice. A lemon lime. So cute. Prince of Orange. Red Emerald. Has some Skindapsis here. Some Staghorn. I'm really feeling these Rick Rat Cactus. I think this is gonna be something I add to the collection soon because I just love them. This one's 40. This cute little Adansonii. eye. Got some more Macrophylla up here. That's the Devil's Backbone. Um, the Wyeti eye for 18. A few of those. Some Hindu rope. Then we have some Pilea peperomioides. Got some Dracaena, and aloe. Do you guys know I don't have an aloe plant? I mean, I need to add that soon. Some cute little Fetonias. Peperomia obtusifolia variegated. Cute little Peperomia. Lots of beautiful Monsteras. Look how cute this little propagation station is. For 32. This is called a ficus umbellata, and it is, I think it's 1.30, if I remember. Another fry deck hanging out over there. Guys, look how cute these little keychains are. This one says plant money. <laughs> This one says Plant Club. Welcome to the jungle. I love it. Keep going, keep growing. And these stickers are so cute. All I want is more plants, positivity. So cool. And I just say, I did not anticipate today going like this. I did not think I was gonna go around Charlotte and buy up all the plants in all the plant shops. I'm exaggerating, but yeah, I have a massive, massive haul today. I guess let's just jump into it. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge how amazing that location is for Grow Charlotte? I couldn't believe the plants they had in there. It's amazing. Oh, that area is so cool. There's bars, restaurants. I mean, it's a super cool area. So let's get started with the stuff I got at Cactus Club. So this is the reason why I went to Cactus Club. <laughs> oh my God. So as you can see, these leaves are absolutely massive and these were the small ones. I'm just in awe of this beautiful, beautiful plant. I cannot believe how huge these leaves are. And they're just that beautiful dark green with the like very strong veins that are just signature anthuriums. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to see what kind of new growth this one puts out. I asked for care tips. Um, 
I was told that it really likes humidity and like bright indirect light and it likes to be warm. Do you guys have any care tips for Anthurium Magnificum? I need some help. I don't really know what to, I don't know anything about this plant and it won't fit in my Ikea greenhouse because it's so big. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, can you believe it? I'm, I'm so obsessed with this plant. I can't believe I got one. They're so, so beautiful. I gotta hang up some more shelves in my plant room, guys. I gotta get on it. Because I've taken up all the shelf space already and they're all on my floor now so there is a promo code for online orders for cactus club i'm going to put it here and uh, it is 10 percent off on orders over 25 dollars they're having a huge restock online so uh so I highly recommend checking out their website, seeing what they have. If they're sold out on stuff, maybe give it a day or two because they're constantly restocking. And uh, when you have 10% off, that's a great deal. Every time I've gone into Cactus Club the last four times, I've looked at this plant and there's been a few of them and there was only one left and I finally just broke down and got it because I've been wanting one of these forever. They're definitely a wishlist plant and it is this Anthurium forgettii. Look how beautiful this guy is. I love how round the leaf is. There's, um, it looks like there's some new growth coming out there. It's very, very healthy. I've just been wanting an Anthurium forgettii forever and it's just a dream plant of mine. So this one's gonna definitely go in my Ikea greenhouse. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know some care tips but I had to get this baby. It is so, so beautiful. Again, it has that signature Anthurium dark green with the veins and the velvety leaves. And the difference with this one is that it's a complete circle on the top. It doesn't have the ears, which is so, so interesting and cool. I just love it. They gave me a few goodies that I want to share with you. I was admiring some of their rare cacti and so they gave me a few to go home with. This is a mellow cactus. Look how cool that one is. I love like the fire red um, spines in the middle of it. And the shape of the cactus is so cute. And then we have a Othello cactus. I can't pronounce it, but I'll show it here so you can see what kind it is. Look how cool that guy is. I love the way it's shaped. Isn't it so unusual? At the tippy top near where the spines are, it has like little fuzzies on top. And it's a, it's, blue colored which of course you guys know is a favorite for me wonderful so it's popped out of its little planter and i'll replant them when i get home but i want to go ahead and show you this is a steno cactus Hes hestatus look at that one isn't that amazing i love 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 the way this one is shaped it's so cool maybe i'll make a cactus garden with all of these little babies I'm obsessed with it. So awesome, it was so nice. And then I have one more, this Philodendron Birkin, and it has some sort of mutation happening there. As you can see, like on the leaf right here, you know, she's like, see how it goes, see what the new leaf looks like, because I don't know if it's reverting to a Rojo Congo, which a lot of these Birkins came from originally, but it's like a Birkin mix and it has, uh, it has all sorts of interesting stuff going on. So I'm really excited about this one. Ivy expressed that if you give this plant enough light, like stick it under a grow light, the variegation on it is next level. Like the leaves turn super, super white. So I'm really excited to see what happens with this one. So we are just getting warmed up. That was only the first place. So then the next place that I went to was Charlotte Collective where I got some awesome concrete planters. This is the first planter that I got, isn't it cool? It's a concrete skull planter and I think it was like $25. Um, as you can see on the bottom, it's Queen City Crete. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's so cool. I can't wait to find like the perfect plant to put in here. So the next one you guys actually voted on on Instagram. Uh, on my story, I couldn't decide, so I put it to a vote, which I seem to be doing all the time now. So it was pretty across the board, um, but this one definitely had the most votes and I have to say I'm so glad I got it because it's really, really beautiful. Diddy. I got a Carla planter, which I knew I wanted, but there were like four different colors and I opted for this one with the blue. Isn't it so pretty? I just love her Carla planters. I would have like 10 of them. Um, and it's $25, which I find is a really fair price considering it's an original piece. 
um, handmade. I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Now going on to the next stop, which is Grow. Wasn't expecting to buy anything from there. Honestly, there were like 10 plants that I wanted. It was really hard. There were interesting Hoyas I'd never seen before. Alocasia Friedek, the Pedatum, the Jewel Orchid, the Albo Syngonia, the String of Turtles, the String of Spades, but I had to limit it because I have to leave plants for other people, right? So let me show you what I got from Grow. I had to get it. I got this beautiful um, philodendron pedatum. Look how awesome those leaves are. It's a uh, you know, similar leaf shape to like Florida Beauty, Florida Ghost. I just am in love with this plant. Look how beautiful it is. It was $68 um, and it has tons of new growth it's pushing out. There was one, there was another one there that was a lot smaller and it was 40 something. So I spent like the extra 20 bucks and got the one that's really big. Look at that leaf. <gasps> oh, I love the dark green. I love, you know, I'm obsessed with this kind of leaf shape. Um, it has that like dragony looking um, leaf shape. So. I'm so happy that I found one of these. I've been looking for one of them and I'm obsessed. I really, really love this plant. I, and I just was, it was so unexpected. And I got another plant as well. So I got two from Grow. And both of these plants were incredibly unexpected today. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> ah. And you guys know I'm obsessed with philodendrons. So I had to say yes. It spoke to me. All right. On to the next one. I'm sure you guys can guess what my next plant is on my list. It has been on my wish list forever, like literally almost two years. And I can't believe I found one today so randomly. Boop boop. It is an Albo Syngonium. Can you believe I found one? This new leaf, look at all the variegation that it looks like it's putting out. So I am beyond thrilled with this find. First of all, Syngonium are amazing. Like they're so easy care. The lady that was working at the shop was telling me about her Albo Syngonium and how huge it has grown. Just really, really easy. And Syngoniums are just one of those plants that always does well for me. So uh, they don't really need much of anything, which is incredible. Really happy about that. And then the leaf shape of these Syngonium are exceptionally beautiful. And then it just has that awesome, awesome variegation so amazing and i feel like this plant once it gets going is gonna put out some awesome growth so i'm excited about that i will definitely be keeping you guys updated on how this one is doing i can't tell if like that little stem sticking out is new growth or not or if it's a stem that broke off but we'll see how it goes this little leaf that's unfurling is like the exciting mystery um which i can't wait to see how that looks so yeah that was my massive haul from today i had no idea that was gonna happen you know what i love each and every one of the things that i bought like a lot of thought went into each one of these plants and planters and i'm really happy with with my haul today if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more planty stuff like this make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video um, also hit the thumbs up and leave a comment like let me know which plant you would have picked today if you would have been plant shopping with me this is a community so i really love to hear your feedback um, and then also if you like my channel check out my instagram because again like i said i post on there all the time i posted on there during this video um, so i'm pretty uh i'm dependent on my instagram friends i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day i will be seeing you soon bye